In this figure, a square is inscribed in an irregular pentagon. If the two opposite sides of the pentagon are 3 and 6 units respectively. Find the area of the square. To solve this problem, let the side of the square be x. Let's call this length y, and this length z. Next, let's focus on the yellow triangle. This triangle, is a right angle triangle. So, if we call this angle alpha, then this angle will be 90 degrees, minus alpha. Reason. Sum of angles in a triangle. Let's observe that this angle, is 90 degrees. If that is the case, then in the red triangle, this angle will be 90 degrees, minus alpha. Reason. Sum of angles in a straight line. This red triangle is also a right triangle. So, this remaining angle, of the triangle will be alpha. Reason. Sum of angles in a triangle. Now, notice that the corresponding angles of these two triangles are equal. So, we can say that the two triangles are similar, and the proportionality of their corresponding sides is 6 over y is equal to z over 3. To find the value of y, let's consider the red triangle. From Pythagoras' theorem, x squared is equal to 3 squared plus y squared. 3 squared is 9. So, x squared is equal to 9 plus y squared. Let's make y squared the subject of the formula. Doing so will give us y squared is equal to x squared minus 9. Taking the square root of both sides will leave us with y is equal to the square root of x squared minus 9. To find the value of z, let's consider the yellow triangle. From Pythagoras' theorem, x squared is equal to 6 squared plus z squared. 6 squared is 36. So, x squared is equal to 36 plus z squared. Let's make z squared the subject of the formula. Doing so will give us z squared is equal to x squared minus 36. Taking the square root of both sides will leave us with z is equal to the square root of x squared minus 36. Now we know the value of y and z, let's go ahead and substitute these values in this equation. Doing so will give us 6 over square root of x squared minus 9 is equal to the square root of x squared minus 36 over 3. By cross multiplication, we will have 18 is equal to the square root of x squared minus 9 times x squared minus 36. Next, let's take the square of both sides. On the left side, 18 squared is 324, and on the right side, the square will cancel out the square root to leave us with x squared minus 9 times x squared minus 36. Expanding this will give us x power 4 minus 36x squared minus 9x squared plus 324 minus 36x squared minus 9x squared is 45x squared. So we are left with x power 4 minus 45x squared plus 324. Going further, we have 324 is equal to x power 4 minus 45x squared plus 324. 324 will cancel out. And we are left with x power 4 minus 45x squared is equal to 0 which is the same as x power 4 
is equal to 45x squared. Dividing through by x squared, will leave us with x squared is equal to 45. If we take the square root of both sides, x will be equal to 3 root 5. Now we know the value of x, which is the length of the square, let's go ahead and find the area of the square. The area of a square is equal to the square of its length. Substituting the length with 3 root 5 will give us area is equal to 3 root 5 times 3 root 5 which is equal to 45. Hence, the area of the square is 45 square units. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.